And here we go. First pitch in for a strike. A 7-2 win over Missouri, and then the extra innings win last night against Arkansas. And Johnson will start things off with a base hit. Regionals and Supers if they win. Alabama likely a regional host as a top 16 seed. And good speed by Pruitt down the line. A couple of hits to start things off for Bama. Ball. Four pitch walk and they are loaded. Lost her and that'll walk in a run. Back to back singles, back to back walks. One nothing tied. Wild pitch, runner coming home and diving in safely is Larissa Pruitt. Two nothing tied. For Pickens in Tennessee. Third walk in a row, and this one loads him up for Allie Shipman. Shipman pops it up in foul territory, and Pooney able to track it down. And they're gonna call that a catch and carry because she actually left the field, so all the runners are gonna advance. Making the out, she tried to brace herself for the net, but it didn't come, and because of the catch and carry, runners advance, even though they get the out. Alabama gets another run. Guy on that, but Alabama will take that run on the board to the right side. That'll get another one in. A productive out from Emma Broadfoot. Four nothing, Bama. Well, Bama has beyond capitalized on this inning. In to score. And a swing and a miss. Scotchell ends it. All-American pitcher who injured herself in their game last night. I did talk with head coach Patrick Murphy as you see her coming in today. He said, I didn't have a lot of information right now. It is a lower leg injury. Uh, but man, Montana's here. She's in uniform. I will tell you, she was moving around fairly well last night after the injury, but today a little bit more uh, slow and steady with her steps. Thank you very much, Holly. And Alex Salter, who gets the start in the circle, gets Kiki Malloy. It's rattled out to center, and that'll drop in front, and it scoots through White all the way to the fence. And standing on second is Gibson. She's the one that came on in relief for Montana Fouts last night through two and a third innings. Uh, now Tennessee responds by loading up the bases. Back-to-back -back walks. Did not get a hit. Boutte drives one back. Back to the track. And gone! Lair Boutte, a grand slam to tie it up. What a start to the semis in Fayetteville. Wow. One pitch, <laughs> one pitch for Boutte after the walk. Mackenzie Donahue <laughs> making it rain. All the bills in the, the dugout. And look what this pitch is too. She gets a pitch middle. Usually the best pitches you're gonna get are early in the count. Boutte just makes her pay. I'll tell you what too, this would have gone even further. She got underneath it. Still cleared by a long shot and she knew it. What a start for both sides offensively. That's a hard hit ball. Kutsi Annapolis and Johnson <laughs> able to hold on to it and keep it in. Jenna Johnson up against the wall, knocks it off. The glasses, the ball holds on for the last out. But the damage had been done. Kristen White dropping down the bunt and an errant throw. Good backup by Taylor out and right. But Kristen White, boy, she's been solid out of that nine spot in the order, really putting pressure on the defense. White on the run, the throw down to the other side of the base. And Kristen has a swipe. Second walk to Prangy. And Dowling pops it up. Boutte's got it, a couple stranded. No, they don't. Called 
strike three. One down. Malloy. Well, she may have been trying on that one way back and into the parking lot for Kiki Malloy. I think it's going in the catering tent. I think she's got two of the longest home runs here. One this morning and one tonight. They're taking her picture as she crosses the plate with number 23 on the season. And this is with two strikes. I mean, her ability to be able to, you see the pitches that she fouls off to get to this pitch. I mean, they'd gone away, 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 and this one up in the zone, into that zone for Kiki Malloy. And even though she's just trying to make contact because it's elevated, she meets the ball and there is no doubt. Clears every fence there was out in left field. And Shipman, there's a shot out to left center. Malloy will hold her to a long single and a base runner with one out, tying run aboard. To second, stepping on the base for one. Boutte over to first double play. <laughs> SEC and NCAA softball. And a strikeout of Riley West, two down. Here throwing the motions. <laughs> exactly. And out of your eyes. Oh, Jayla Torrance. Good work for her, a one, two, three inning. Opposite way and over the outstretched glove of Kahalen. Two out base runner. Ooh. That's lashed out to center. Back that one goes and out. Katie Taylor, the number nine hitter as the bottom of the order strikes. And two more on the board. The big hits in this one coming from the unexpected. We saw Butte with her fourth home run of the season and Katie Taylor in the ninth spot. This is just her third home run this season, but going with it through the middle of the zone. This is when a ton of your power is gonna come when you're able to just not try to pull everything and <laughs> look at the smiles for the speedy Taylor. Yeah, good job of letting that ball travel. Chopped in a collision as Pooney and Donahue get tangled up. Prangy, does she deliver on cue? Yes, she does. Two run shot and Bama is back in it. If only we had a camera at Madeline's house right now. Jumping for joy with Ashley Prangy, and it's a one-run game. She had four-plus foul balls. I mean, just battling within this at-bat. She crushed one way foul. Was able to get a pitch up and away. And just to see the power, she knows exactly when she hits it out. You're going to see as soon as she makes contact, flip the bat. <laughs> no doubt about it. And a called strike three to Bailey Dowling, one down. Oh, girl, sweet. And again, Malloy reads it off the bat. It's one of the best you're going to see in all of softball. Draws the walk. Shipman throws down, trying for the strike him out, throw him out after she held on to strike three. Went back to the circle. Donahoe, that could be trouble. Back and tracking it down and holding on is Callie Hevlin for the third out of the inning. Broadfoot, and it's off the glove of Boutte and a base runner for Alabama. Tying run aboard. It's a heck of an at bat. And a swing and a miss. White. Gloved by Pooney, and they're going to double off the runner at first. Simple arm motion to really get under it. And she said, if I, if I do that, they can't touch me. Fly ball to left. Johnson under it. Two down. Don't want to have to pitch to Malloy again. Yeah. Got her. 
Got Johnson to chase. Pruitt out to Malloy, two down. 3-2 called, strike three. And the Lady Vols win it to advance to the SEC championship game.